Hey there, and welcome to Reflections of Nature. Today we're going to be learning all about coasts. You may already know that most of our Earth is made up of oceans, which are very large bodies of water. Earth also has very large areas of land, called continents. The area where an ocean touches a continent is called a coast. Earth has five oceans and seven continents. Which continent do you live on? The lines between the oceans and continents are called coastlines. Did you know a coast is a landform? A landform is how land is shaped. Coasts can have different shapes. They can be tall and rocky or flat. The shape of a coast will shape the water around it. The water will follow the curve of the land. People all over visit coasts to enjoy their natural beauty. Another fun reason to visit the coast is to explore tide pools, which are little pools of water that collect between rocks. Tide pools are full of plants and animals. As a result, you can find many different and beautiful seashells. Some animals and plants wash in and out with the tide. Tide means the rising and falling of the sea level. Here's some beautiful jellyfish hanging out in a tide pool. This sea anemone uses its stinging tentacles to catch prey. Hermit crabs are fun creatures to see in tide pools. Can you see its little legs peeking out under its shell? This little hermit crab is on a mission. Maybe he's going to look for a bigger shell to move into. Seagulls, along with many other birds, live along coasts. Seagulls dive into the ocean to catch fish or visit tide pools to hunt for other creatures to eat. Many colorful and beautiful plants also thrive along the coast. You may see ridges of sand on the beach called dunes. Dunes are created when waves bring in sand from the ocean. The wind blows the sand into small hills, creating sand dunes. Have you ever walked on the beach and made footprints in the sand? Have you ever wondered where sand comes from? Over the course of many years, ocean waters break cliffs down into small stones. Those stones eventually break down even more and become sand. Every single grain of sand is different. They all have different shapes. Isn't that amazing? Depending on where you are, beaches can look and feel different. 
Beaches close to the equator will look more tropical and feel warmer. Sand can feel rocky or very smooth and fine. Coasts are lively habitats. Habitats are places in nature where animals and plants live. Coasts are also habitats for people. Many cities and towns are built along the coast. And there are so many fun activities to do. People can visit tide pools, build sand castles, hike along the shoreline, eat seafood, observe the wildlife, and so much more. It's no wonder people love coastal vacations. So the next time you visit the coast, take in that salty sea air. Get mesmerized by those gorgeous waves. Eat some yummy seafood. And take in the incredible views the coast has to offer. I hope you enjoyed learning about these amazing landforms. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe for more.